Welcome to Count Thoughts. In this lesson, we'll be looking at bad debts and allowance for doubtful accounts and how they are recorded in the income statement and the balance sheet. In one of our previous videos, we looked at what bad debts is, what allowance for doubtful accounts is, and why we create an allowance. We also looked at various allowance methods, namely the income statement method and the balance sheet method and the direct write-off method. So if that's what you want to find out, you can look at the link in the description below. But in this video, we'll just be focusing on how bad debts and allowance for doubtful accounts are recorded in the balance sheet and income statement. So let's look at it. Many students would ask what goes where, what goes into the income statement and what goes into the balance sheet. Well, here's something to remember. Adjustment to allowance for doubtful accounts. What? How do we record it? Well, we record the adjustment to the allowance for doubtful accounts. If the adjustment or if the new allowance for doubtful accounts has increased, it goes under other expenses. And if it has decreased, it goes under other income. So if you had an allowance in the previous period, and we, now we have a new allowance, if the new allowance is greater than the previous allowance, then we put it under other expenses. Or if the old allowance is greater than the new allowance, then we put it under other income. We'll see how it works with the help of an example. And what goes in the balance sheet? Well, it's the debtor's control minus the new bad debt or bad debt that you are given for this period minus the new allowance for doubtful accounts, the one that you are given for this period or the one that you'll have to calculate for this period. So let's look at an example. We're given an example and we're told that the following figures are extracted from the pre-adjustment trial balance on 28 February 2018. So we just took the figures that relates to bad debts and allowance for doubtful accounts. And then we are told we are given adjustments and additional information. And we are told that the account of credit loss at data must be written off as irrecover irrecoverable and it's 1,000 rand. And we are told that allowance for doubtful accounts must be adjusted to 5% of outstanding receivables. And then what is the requirement? It tells us to prepare the income statement and the balance sheet for the year ended 28 February 2018. But we're just going to focus on the bad debts and allowance for doubtful accounts. So, let's do the calculations. First of all, let's see what goes into the income statement. We say that the adjustment goes into the income statement. So, we're given an allowance for doubtful accounts of 2,000 rand, which was from the previous period. And then we are told that the new allowance must is based on 5% or is 5% of outstanding receivables. By outstanding receivables, we mean that uh, receivables after we deduct the bad debts that we are given. So, what do we do? So we are debtors control of 65,000 rand and here we are in additional information we are given the new bad debt which is 1,000 rand. So we're going to take 65,000 rand minus 1,000 rand and then we multiply that by 5%. We get the new bad, new allowance for doubtful accounts of 3,200 rand. So we do now the adjustment which will go into the income statement. The new bad debt so sorry the new allowance for doubtful accounts of 3200 rand minus the old allowance for doubtful accounts remember it's the old allowance because if you go back to the question the old allowance was 2000 rand so so it's 3200 minus 2000 rand for the old allowance for doubtful accounts and what is the adjustment the adjustment is 1200 rand now what do we see here the new, adjust, the new allowance for doubtful accounts has increased from the previous period. So if there is an increase, we put it under other expenses. So let's see how it goes into the income statement. Under other operating expenses, we put allowance for doubtful accounts adjustment and we put 1,200 rand. That is how you record the allowance for doubtful accounts adjustment in the income statement. And now the bad debts. How do we record the bad debts in the income statement? Let's look at the question again. It tells us that we had in the pre-adjustment trial balance we have bad debts of 1,500 and under additional information we have bad debts of 1,000 rand. So we add them together. We take the 1,500 rand plus the 1,000 rand gives us a total of 2,500 rand. So under operating expenses we put bad debts and we put the total 2,500 rand. Very simple. That's how we record bad debts in the income statement. Now let's see how we record these accounts in the balance sheet. In the balance sheet, we record, remember, I, if you looked at the 
the, 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 the things to remember that I mentioned before you record the death as control minus the new bad debt minus the new allowance for doubtful accounts so that's how we record it we have 64,000 rand for debt as control which we got by taking the 65,000 rand let's go back to our question which we got by taking the debt as control of 65,000 rand minus only the new bad debt. Remember in the pre-adjustment trial balance, we also have bad debts, but we do not deduct that one because we assume that one has already been deducted in the debt as control. So we'll just deduct the one in the additional information. So we take the 65,000 rand debt as control minus the 1,000 rand, which gave us the 64,000 rand, which we have here. And then we deduct the new allowance for doubtful accounts of 3200 which we calculated on top here 3200 which will give us a total and net realizable value or net realizable amount of 60,800 rand so remember in the balance sheet it's debt as control minus the new bad debts given in additional information you don't deduct the one in pre-adjustment trial balance minus the new allowance for doubtful accounts to give us a net realizable amount or a net that has control of 60,800 rand. Hope that has made sense and not confusing at all. Hope it has helped you. And if you have gained any value from this video, please consider subscribing to our channel and liking our video and sharing if you can. Till next time. Cheers.